Hello, and welcome to London Pinball. All right, so I've been working on this uh, 1979 Williams Stellar Wars uh, pinball machine, and uh, it came with uh, a couple of dead displays. And so I decided that I would uh, purchase uh, a do-it-yourself display kit from Wolfpack. Um, and I figured I would do something a little different uh, and uh, do an unboxing. Un I mean, do something a little different for this channel anyway. Do an unboxing, show you what's inside the package, and then I'll show you um, how they go together and then what they look like uh, after the fact. So I guess this is an unboxing and review. Weird, but uh, yeah, sure. Why not? So at any rate, uh, this came happily a couple days ago. And uh, uh, of course, I'm in Canada. I ordered to order it from the States. Shipping from the States wasn't terribly expensive. It looks like... Uh, Actually, it looks like he charged me a little bit less than I actually paid for shipping. Um, or pardon me, I he charged me less than he paid for shipping, uh, which is interesting uh, because I think I paid 16 bucks for shipping and the price on the, on the box is uh, 19. So there you go. Kudos to Wolfpack. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack her open. I've uh, cut the tape here, as you can see. All right, so we've got Wolfpack Technologies, William System 3 to 6 uh, replacement display kit. When assembled, this display will replace the displays used on many William System 3 to 6 pinball machines. For the complete list of compatible machines, see the list at the end of the instructions, wolfpacktech.com. There's the website right there if you want to check it out, wolfpacktech.com. Um, on the back side here, you've got a parts list uh, and the assembly instructions. Uh, actually, I guess it says that the assembly instructions uh, can be downloaded from their website. Clearly, you'll need to know how to solder um, for this type of thing. Um, if you don't know how to solder, uh, you would not be buying a do-it-yourself uh, display kit. So within this box here, let's see, we've got the four displays and the master display. So I'm gonna open up one of the PCB uh, packages here. So here's one of the blank PCBs. Um, of course, there's not much to these, um, the slave uh, displays, uh, they are, uh, just the the LEDs themselves, even the original displays don't have a lot to them. And I'm sorry that my uh, camera keeps going in and out of focus. I apologize for that. All right. In addition to the PCBs, we've got the master display PCB here, which obviously has most of the components uh, that go on to uh, these guys. We've got the blanks for the chips here, resistors and whatnot. Uh, and then of course the, the, uh, the LEDs here. Additionally, we've got a package of chips. Uh, these will be all the logic chips that go here and over here. Here's a package of diodes, capacitors, resistors, and whatnot. Let's open that up and see what's going on in there. Capacitors, uh, resistors, And oh, spacers, right, right, right. And then of course in here, this is the mother load of, of the uh, display segments. And so just to uh, show you very quickly, these guys here, pop one out.
they will slide very happily into here, like so. And then, of course, we'll solder that in. You always know which one, is, which way it goes because the little dot here goes to the bottom right, or the little decimal. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put these together now, and uh, I'll show you that process. Boy, that's really not in focus, is it? Hello, there we go. All right, I've navigated to the Wolfpack Technologies uh, website, uh, and you know, in the in the sheet that came with the uh, uh, with the package, uh, it said to click on the download instructions link, but there is no download instructions link. There is an assembly instructions link though. So I think that's probably uh, the right track. So we're looking for the Williams system three to six kit, which is here. And look at that, there you go. So I'll show you how to put together one of these uh, slave displays. There's not a lot to it. Uh, like I said earlier, it's basically just popping in these uh, digit doohickeys into their proper places, making sure they're aligned right and uh, soldering them into place. They are pretty simple. Oh, look at that. I'm an idiot. And there's not much to see here, so I'm just going to fast forward through all this stuff. Let's do that right now. One or two beers later and uh, this is all put together i totally failed uh to videotape myself putting this together uh but i mean it's pretty much the same as the slave displays uh you've got your chips digits resistors more chips a couple of caps here and there uh, there's not much to it really it's uh you know if you're if you're okay with doing a little bit of soldering uh you can do this yourself uh, these uh, uh, do-it-yourself kits, uh, they run about 100 and, what is it, 110 bucks a piece. Uh, let me look that up for you right this second. So the old orange displays run you $104.95 plus shipping. Uh, not a bad deal. Uh, I mean, if you if you were to get the... Um, the uh, X pin or um, uh, why can't I think of it? I can't think of the other, the big one, not Rotten Dog, although they do make displays too. <laughs> pin score, that's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, if you get the pin scores, you know, and they're complete and, and assembled and all that, you're looking at two, 250 or something for the set. So you're saving half anyway by doing it yourself. Uh, and these look okay. Uh, my initial reaction to the uh, uh, to these displays is that they don't have uh, uh, brightness control, which is nice. Um, but I mean, really, who cares? I mean, if they're f you're gonna pretty much put it at full blast anyway. Um, aside from that, there's I mean, there's really not much to complain about. They're easy to go together. Uh, they're solid. You know, as long as you're not a moron and you can solder. I mean, and what I mean by that is if you're anything, what I mean by as long as you're not a moron, I mean, as long as you're capable of putting the parts in the right spot, um, because like, you know, I, I'm pretty dumb and I can do this. So if you're, you know, anything like me, uh, you should be able to do this too. Uh, and speaking of morons, uh, I just figured out how to put my damn camera in focus. And of course, I also wanted to show you one more thing. The game comes with these, uh, foam rubber doohickeys and it comes with them with uh, those uh, with the foam rubber for all of the displays and so if you punch out the little holes here uh, then you can like just like that you can uh, make it so that you know all the ugliness uh, you know between the digits is uh, completely covered over so I'm going to go ahead and do that because 
I think that's the way it's supposed to be. And then you don't have all this nasty, you know, in between whiteness happening. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, and before you do that, before you put the, uh, the foam rubber on there, you're supposed to pull the, uh, there's a, there's a little clear cover on top of all of these guys. I'll show you that, how that comes right off like so. There's a protective covering uh, on top of all the digits, which takes a little bit of effort, but uh, does come off. So there's that uh, slave display with the foam on it, looking pretty crisp and clean. You got the, uh, the old foam going on, oop, upside down. Got the old foam going on on the, uh, on the old uh, master display there too. Looking awesome. Let's throw these in the game. All right, so here's this uh, 1979 William Stellar Wars that I've been working on. Um, watch for a video about how this machine came together uh, in the very near future. But for now, we're just going to talk about displays. Turn on. So you can see I've got two working displays, and the master display works, um, and then these two are just not at all. Well, this one's missing. Um, <clears throat> let's crack this open here. So, uh, let's just pop in these new displays. So, like I've said uh, many times before, I'm a bit of an idiot, and uh, I thought that the spacers that came with the displays were unnecessary, but it turns out that the new displays are a little bit thicker this way than the old displays. Not by much, but just by a little. Enough to uh, necessitate new spacers. So the original spacers are these guys, and the new spacers are maybe, what, I don't even know, a quarter inch, eighth inch? Smaller. So I'm going to go through and replace all those spacers, and then I'll actually show you what the game looks like with the uh, back glass installed and everything. Alright, let's turn this on and see how this looks. I think they look great in the back box, just off. Um, you know, I think Wolfpack has done a good job of, of making these displays, um, you know, subtle. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I love the that the foam rubber um, covers up the the hideousness that is the, the spaces between those digits. Um, it makes it look much more like uh, an original display. I'm a little bit, I mean, and I know that this is just a product of the, of the digits themselves. You know, obviously the digits here are far more obvious uh, than, than the originals are, you know, in the off state. However, I mean, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Um, and once the game is on, you don't really notice that, I don't think. So I'm going to pop the glass on. Actually, here, let me turn it on. So that's what it looks like on. And again, I think, you know, with the game on, you don't notice those, um, those off digits, those off segments. I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks really close to original. Maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll see if I can put up an, uh, a, an image of the original compared to what I've got here now. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I've tried um, XPIN and PINSCORE and Rotten Dog um, and these. Um, I did the, the Bally do-it-yourself kit from Pinatech. That was the that's the other one. The the do-it-yourself kit from Pinatech. Um, I did the Bally Unos um, a couple of years ago. They are far more time-consuming than these are, mostly because the uh, the Pinatech or pardon me the Bally displays have more components on them um, than these do, um, but still not overly time-consuming. I mean, it's you know, like I say, an hour, a couple hours, and you're done. Um, and that's if you're taking your time. So, anyway, I hope you found this uh, helpful and informative, and 
Stay tuned for the next video. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.